Good morning. So uh, today, continuing with uh, developing uh, Snippet Pixie um, in GoLand. Uh, yeah, GoLand in Go language. <laughs> um, so let's go to GoLand. Um, so uh, yesterday we finished off our uh, get snippets uh, function for searching snippets. Uh, you can basically optionally pass in a search string um, and it will search uh, through the abbreviations and body of the snippets um, to find what you want um, or just return them all if you don't really pass anything if you basically pass a blank into the uh, get snippets function um, and of course we wrote tests for that as well um, which will pass so um, it's uh, that's a uh, yeah, nice wibble. Um, let's move on to well, there's a couple of things we need to do still. So at the moment we have add snippets. Um, we have various ways of getting snippets, so we can get it with the exact abbreviation, or we can um, get it with a uh, search, or we can search for um, snippets by the end of the abbreviation. And um, these are all things that I know I need to use when I'm actually building the Snippet Pixie app. Um, but what we haven't got yet are uh, a way to update your snippet. Um, so if you need to change the body or whatever, um, and of course delete. Um, we do also need to go back at some point and update the uh, the new manager uh, function so that it better handles um, migrations and things. But that's going to be something we need to do after we get the basics in, I think. So, okay, what should we do? Shall we do... Let's do update I think um, seems like something we should probably do so let's do um, how are we going to handle this well let's do a test I suppose that would make sense wouldn't it ok let's um, I've just realized before I get on to something there, this database we are not closing in the tests. So yeah, we should probably do that just as a Just to make sure things are squeaky clean when the tests run. Not that it makes any difference here because everything's in memory. Um, but yeah, so like here, we're doing that. Okay. Oh, I am doing it close <laughs> with the defer. Forgot about that. I'm doing this weird thing where I'm making sure that I don't have any errors in the syntax while I do if I can. So I did the defer version there in a uh, closure. Okay, yeah, so we're good. That's fine. Forgot about that. Okay, let's move on then. Uh, let's take, um, well, if we do an update, we are basically going to need in fact, let's do the easier one. Yeah, well, I can just use this. 
We use this as template. What we'll do is we will grab this first bit here. Um, do is we'll call this test manager update snippet um, and so we're going to do the usual create an in, in memory database uh, pass that to the snippet manager we're going to create three snippets um, and here, what I want is, I just want the one. So we'll just call this snippet. And we'll do get snippet with abbreviation. And we will grab SP. Now let's grab, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. So we don't have that really anymore. What we need here to change that to snippet abbreviation SP. So that's just a little sanity check. And I guess we could. Um, We could also check the body as well. Kind of redundant as we've already um, already done these tests before. But hey, all right. So that should actually work as is because we've not added anything breaking yet. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's clear that. So, go to test. Got, nope. <laughs> okay, so that passes. Okay, now we need to do the stuff that's just not going to work because we don't have a function. Um, so let's do, uh, but this is going to basically set our um, template for what we want or how we would like it to work. So we have a snippet and let's say we want to change the body. Um, actually, I just thought there a safer way No, that's fine. I was just going to say maybe I should use the ID for the get there. Um, but there's there's no real reason to. Generally, you have to have retrieved the record anyway before you can do an update, and then you already have an ID. Um, because I want to update by the ID. Um, Because that's guaranteed unique. So, okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to do what we would like to do is we'll have a result. And um, we might get back an error. And we are going to do Hmm. This is where we could change things up a bit. Because previously we've been using the manager to deal with snippets. We could switch things up a little bit here 
and actually do it on the snippet. So we could do something like um, snippet update. Um, and then pass in potential changed fields. So we could pass in um, the abbreviation, the body, and uh, last, last used. Um, but in that instance, we'd also need to pass in the database because we don't actually have a database attached to the snippet that came back. So really, we should probably not do it. We should probably just stick to using the manager um, and pass in references via that. Yeah, it's just going to, that's changing things more than we need to. We don't need it to be, we don't need to be changing the, the, the paradigm just like that. So let's use, let's continue to use the manager. So we have a manager and we're going to update a snippet. Um, so now we need to make a decision as to how we do that referencing. Let's I think we can make it really simple. I think what we can do is we can say that we're going to pass in we've got two ways. We can either pass in a new snippet basically saying like, hey, this snippet has been updated, save it. Or we can pass in a reference like the ID and then the individual fields. I think I think it's probably best to pass in the whole snippet because then we don't have to worry about updating the function should we change any fields in the structure. So let's do that. We're just going to pass in the snippet and be done with it. So we'll have a mutated snippet um, and we'll get back some sort of result. We hope it's not going to be errored. Um, and I think in this case, should we return anything actually? There's no mutating at the database level or none expected. This is low level enough that we don't really want anything to change underneath. So okay, maybe we don't need a result. Maybe we just need to know whether there was an error or not. Don't need to turn anything. No, let's keep it simple. Okay, 
So if we try and run that, that's going to fail because we don't have a function. Mm. Oh, I knew your errors, your variables. Very different there, actually, because uh, there we go. But we don't actually have a function, so it should still fail. Good. Undefined. Good. OK, well, we better go create it then. So we are passing in um, a reference to a manager, and we are going to update snippet, and we are expecting a snippet which is a type snippet and we return in an error in theory potentially maybe hopefully just nil um so now we need to do we could in theory do some validation here but we haven't written any tests for that so let's not do that um yeah so we'll do do the bare minimum here we'll just take the database reference and we're going to exec um Update snippets. Uh, we're going to does does SQLite handle that form? I don't know. Ah, better check. I don't know. Um, yep. Oh, oh, I just did an update beforehand. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Documentation. There's a syntax here. Uh, does it do which types of updates does it do? Yeah. It's just showing okay, it's only showing examples of that form. Maybe we should just go with that. Good old standard uh oh, I can do that. Set the column names. Oh, that's pro oh, okay. That's probably only when um, I 
Yeah. Maybe. Oof. Okay. Well, let's try it. I'm going to use, um, let's use this form and see what happens. So we're going to set, we only want to change the abbreviation, um, body last used, um, Yeah, oh yeah. See, that's the thing. That's where it starts to get sticky. Maybe I should use a straightforward name that will work pretty much everywhere. I'm not sure this is going to work. I'm not sure that syntax is, is understood. But anyway, we'll try. Um, so we have a snippet abbreviation, snippet body, snippet last used and snippet id um, and we need to clean this up a bit there's a bit of a mess there what can i do to shorten this up don't know what what's going to happen when i go format this It doesn't like those hanging things there, does it? It's weird. Okay. I should probably set an error there. about as much as we need.
So in the tests. Why is that complaining? Oh. Yeah, it's part of pointer. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's, uh, did it? Okay, so apparently that worked. Job done? Well, let's find out. So what we should do now is make sure we can Update that snippet first. So we will do um, snippet body equals. Um, I'll do quick and easy. There we go. Let's do make sure we get um, back a right new variable. So we'll do um, up. Yeah, updated snippet. Um, from the manager get snippet with abbreviation SP um, and then we're going to do is no error and then Um, is is equal updated snippet body to and then we just want snippet xe Here I go. And it passes. Okay. Let's um check our work by uh we'll just lop off that and uh, make sure it fails. Yep. There it came back, that's good. That was a little bit too easy. <laughs> uh, at some point, we're going to have to do a little bit of um, changes to this code to make sure it's all a little bit more secure in the SQL. Um, I'm not sure how much um, SQL injection protection there is there and stuff. 
don't know if it prepares and stuff, that's part of the exec. Um, but we'll see. So that's... That's the update done. But... Yeah, we should probably check. Check all the fields. So... So the abbreviation should still match. Um, the snippet abbreviation. Uh, yeah, I was, oops, it's on the wrong line. I mean, obviously the ID should never change, but um, and then we also need to just quickly check the last used. I'm not sure how that's. Oops. Stop it. Thank you. Give it a quick test. It passes. Right. I guess that's that then. That seems too simple. I'm sure I'm missing something there. I'm going to do date time stuff next and that might cause problems. So <laughs> steal ourselves for that. Um, so update snippet. Okay. So next bit um, is I want to I think I just need to change this a little bit to do it. All right. So one of the things is um, when you use a snippet, um, you want to update that last used field um, to the current date time. Um, and that means that that snippet bubbles up to the top of the list when you do a search for snippets. Um, and it matches whatever you're searching for. Um, so you get like a, an ordered list um, with your most recently used at the top, and then it's just alphabetical order by abbreviation, which is really useful because um, you tend to use the same ones over and over again. So we really need to there's, there's two things we, we can do here. We can just leave it as is um, and let the client just update their last used with a date. Or we could special case that. Um, that functionality so that we can just say, you know, just used or whatever because it's a really common thing just to update that field. 
um, but the snippet just stays the same. Maybe that's something for later. When um when a client app actually needs it, we're gonna add that functionality. I think at the moment we should just concentrate on getting the basics there. So another one, of course, is uh, we need to delete. So okay, we'll bear. probably should do that now as well so let's take a copy of this let's assume i've got time yes plenty of time okay Right, we really can't type this morning. Um, common occurrence. Okay, so we're going to test delete in the snippet. That will be the function. Um, so we currently have add, get, update, and delete. Should we call that remove? Yeah, I think that's probably more in keeping, isn't it? Remove snippet. Because if we had done, um, maybe that update should be modify. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. Um, okay. remove works at the moment you can always rename it later so okay we're going to do the same thing we're just going to create these three just getting a little bit repetitive now actually shall we um shall we refactor that out Maybe after this. Let's just get it working first. So we're going to add these three. Um, we are... going to... Yeah. Oh. We're going to get that one. Make sure it's correct. And now we need to delete it. So We're probably actually better off doing a quick test to make sure that the um, the get worked. So let's grab. This.
So we know we've definitely got three in there at the moment. Do that test there. Right, so we've got the three, they're in the database. We grab that one. Make sure it's the one we want. And then oh, switch to remove. Maybe maybe I should just keep it as is, but anyway. Um, now, in this case, I don't care about the contents, do I? Or do I? So I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking about is whether I should have a remove snippet, which you pass in the snippet and it does maybe some little validation. So it says, does a full delete where, you know, the whole ID, abbreviation, body, match, probably not last used as that is a little bit more, don't really care about that. Or we can do a remove snippet with ID, where you just pass in the ID and wallop, it's gone. So we, uh, you know, do we care about, in this case, whether the snippet matches what we expect? It's not, it's not a multi-user application. I think what we'll do is we will do we'll do both. No, we don't need to do both. Just do that. And then if we need another version, we'll do that later. If we come across some sort of use case where we need to double check the data before we delete it to make sure we've not screwed something up, then we can add that later. But I think really, if you're trying to remove it, you're trying to remove it. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, and now we want to get the snippets again. And we should have Two. 
Should we do a little check here? In this particular case, we are expecting Yeah, we'll do that. So, um, is equal result one, because we're expecting the second snippet. Uh, we want its uh, abbreviation to be SP. So yeah, so snippet exists db. Snippet is second result. So I'll do and then down here. Expecting only two, so it should be WW. Okay. Now that should fail miserably now because we don't even have that function. Yep. Remove snippet with ID undefined. Let's define it. Passing a manager. And we want the ID. Um, as a UID UID. Um, and we may or may not return an error. That's a good point. Yeah, that's fine. And then here, we're going to basically do very similar. We're going to take that and from snippets where ID equals that. It does make me a little nervous not to have anything else going on in there. But I'm kind of a fan of doing a bit of a a check. Um, but okay. Right, there's a little difference here. Hmm. I'll leave it as is for the moment, but what I'm going to test later is what happens. Do I get an error if um, if if it 
doesn't exist already. Um, so I will test that. Let's a snippet. Does it work? It does. Cool. Okay, so we've got a quick remove snippet which does very little there. Um, but I want to do follow up error here. Let's do another one. So I wanted to quickly test. Change that. Um, Delete is fine there. That's what I actually mean. If you do a second attempt to delete it, anything? We'll see. Pass, that's fine. Okay. Just that second remove snippet with ID on same ID does not. sorted. So we now have add, update and remove and various, various get snippets. Um, these tests, we've done a lot of repeating of the same thing here. Um, let's do a quick refactor while we've got a bit of time. Yeah, I've got a couple of minutes. So we're doing the same bit here. We're doing yeah, here's kind of custom stuff, that's fine. But once we get into the meat of things here, we're using the same bring up all the time. Um, we're always grabbing a new our instance of is. Um, always opening the database, uh, getting a manager, and then inserting these three test snippets. So I think we need to um, bring that out into a function. Uh, that's a good point. Oh, we we'll just do the defer afterwards, I guess.
Hmm. Let's just I'll do this manually. So it doesn't complain. Uh, funk. Um, so this is going to be a little private function in the test. Um, and it's going to be... Um, I'm going to call it... Uh, call it in it. Um, I have to call it something more than in it so it doesn't clash with the built in go in it. Um, let's say. Um, actually, if I do something like. Scale test snippets. Not going to think that's something else, are you? So we're going to get back. I. Is that then? Hmm. And is do I okay? So we yeah, we want to back a Enter to the is interface. Um, why is that complaining? We also want a database, don't we? So we're going to have SQL DB, and we also want a manager. Um, right, so best case scenario we return is db manager. Need to take that out. Otherwise, nothing will work. Do need to pass in. Good point. Start testing. T. Um, call that T. A 
that's that it. I think it is. Okay, we'll give it a go. So we'll start that off on here. So we can take out that. I change this up to be is db manager t and we can take out that oh Yeah, I mean, we're basically not expecting any errors. And then we're just returning the test harness, the database, and manager with some snippets. That should do. Okay, let's just test that that passes. Good. Okay. So now, that's all we need to do. Okay, that's a forced one where we don't do anything, so that's fine. Here, yeah. get rid of all that. Stick in that instead. Same again here. Oops, what's that? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Get rid of all that. Delete all the code. There we go. Smart. Okay. Simplified our test snippet, our test package a little bit. So today we so far we've 
I think that's the end for today actually. Uh, we've reduced the duplicate code and snippets um, and before that we created an add update snippet um, and removed snippet with ID and tested that a second remove doesn't break things um, and then reduced the duplicate code in the test notes. Cool. Okay, I think that's good for today. Um, nice, useful. Um, got lots done there. Um, we next need to fix up the schema stuff. Um, and then I think we'll start actually putting together um, a little daemon that we can talk to with commands um, and possibly at the same time create a CLI to communicate with it. Um, I'm going to work out how to do that, what we're going to do there. Um, but it should then be using that package um, from the daemon to actually manage the snippets. Um, and then we're going to start um, building out some extra functionality um, for doing expansion of snippets and all this kind of stuff. Um, but we've done it step by step, we're getting there. Um, so um, until next time, thank you very much for watching and uh, take care.